Resident Evil 6 Mercenaries mode here. And I'm playing what's known as the Mercenaries No Mercy. So I'm going to be playing uh, the No Mercy mode. Which I'm pretty sure, unless they release it as DLC, I don't know. It's available only on the PlayStation 4 version of the game. So, that's what I'm going to be playing right now. So, No Mercy, basically, you got double the amount of enemies. I actually prefer the No Mercy mode to the regular uh, mode. It took me a little while to get at it, but it's gotten to the point now where I'm actually better at uh, No Mercy than I am the traditional uh, Mercenaries mode. So I'm playing on a new map that I've uh, not really played a lot of until very recently. It's called Rooftop. And uh, it's a completely different map than I normally play on. Normally I do the Urban Chaos map. It's my favorite map on the game. But I've been playing this one a lot more recently. And it's uh, definitely becoming a favorite. <coughs> I always forget that I got those health items there. So let me down a few green herb, green herbs there. Excuse me, Mr. Zombie. Just like that, I took out about seven of them. Get the bonus time. I have a um, perk called Martial Arts Master, which makes my uh, physical attacks a little bit stronger. Um, and I'm also playing as Jake, and one of his, you know, weapons is his bare hand. So it is actually a pretty good perk to have if you're a Jake player because it does increase the strength of his physical attacks. Love dropping the grenades, taking out, you know, multiple enemies at once. It's definitely a quick and easy way to do that. I'm gonna try to chain them up here. Uh, up here there is a couple of uh, exploding barrels. I can chain them to the exploding barrels, get those things to explode, automatically wipe out a huge chunk of enemies. place a remote bomb and as you see that took out a large number of enemies That also took out a large number. So we've got our first mini boss. And as you can see, there comes another one. And the 
fat guy zombie, which will be over here in just a minute. That is not how first aid spray really works in real life, kids. Looks like I am not going. To make it to the end there. Did die. That's okay though. That is okay. I'm actually going to start over. I'm going to continue. I lasted about five minutes. Uh, there. So we'll start over. We'll continue. We'll see what happens. Why not? So as you can see, with no mercy, it is pretty much non-stop. If you play regular mercenaries mode, if you're used to playing it on PS3, and you're used to playing the regular mercenaries mode, there are moments where you kind of have a second to collect yourself. On this one, you don't really have as many of those moments. you got to be a lot faster, a lot quicker. Um... thing that I like to do is kind of put myself in a corner and start picking them off. It's not always the best strategy because sometimes this happens where you're just kind of cornered and you can't escape but if that starts to happen you just try to find yourself in another corner. Exploding barrel. Killed the zombie and got a time bonus all at the same time. So now that I've killed a bunch of them, we've run through, pick up all the goodies they dropped. Looks like it was mostly handgun ammo, but there was a couple of grenades. Now, I don't know how the rest of you feel. I personally think Resident Evil 6 is one of the better entries in the series. I know that it was a very divisive entry. You either love it or you don't. I'm one of the people that love it. I think it has the best mercenaries mode of all of them. Um, shout out to Resident Evil um, 3's mercenaries mode. And shout out to the extreme battle game of Resident Evil 2, which I feel like never really gets talked about. But I do think that this is the all-around best mercenaries mode. Especially... Uh, the No Mercy version, which I've noticed when I play online, uh, which of course not as many people play this now as they did when it, you know, dropped when it was re-released. But I've, I've noticed playing online uh, that the No Mercy mode doesn't get played as often as the regular uh, Mercenaries mode. It doesn't seem to be as popular. Um, I'm not sure if that's because people don't like it or if people just think that it's um, the harder version. I will admit that it is definitely harder uh, than regular Mercenaries mode. But then, it is called No Mercy, so I don't know why you would expect it to be easy. Right. So it looks like our mini boss has showed up. We're going to try to wipe out as many of them as we can. And just like that, we were able to wipe off, wipe out 
uh, the mini boss. I'm gonna switch back to the 909 handgun. Um, I'm the type of player that likes to save the big guns for the bigger enemies. Um, with Resident Evil 6, and then the improved um, melee attacks actually use those a lot more um, than I do, you know, the guns. Um, of course, Resident Evil is a gun game. You're going to use your guns, but I found that the melee attacks are definitely... a good alternative to that. Alright, so I've taken a back step here, um, ran down a little bit. I'm trying to kind of get away here. As you can see, like I said, it doesn't really ever stop. Well, I made it to where the Chainsaw Maniac shows up. And Chainsaw Maniac got me. I'm not even sure what they're calling on this one. Um, I've always called them the Chain Chainsaw Maniac. They can look like a Jason or Leatherface type. Or they do on the older ones on, on 4 and 5. They made them look a lot more uh, zombie-like on, on this one. That is my perk in action right there. Alright, as you can see, I lost my stamina. Um... Which, you know, causes the melee attacks to not be as effective. And if you're a player like me who uses melee attacks efficiently, then of course you want to try to get away. You want to try to find a place to hide for a second so that you can build that back up. Some of you are probably out there saying, man, he really sucks at this, and, and sometimes it does feel that way. I mean, I've been playing Resident Evil games since, like, you know, the year 2000, 99, somewhere in there. Um, on a previous stream, I talked about how I used to play uh, Director's Cut of Resident Evil 1. It's actually the first one I ever played. Um, so, I mean, I've been playing them for a while. Yeah, I've noticed, you know, that sometimes when I play this game, I, you know, I do really well, and there are other times where I seem to just not be able to do anything. And so far tonight, it appears as if I'm in that not going to be able to do anything mode. That definitely, definitely saved me. Oh, 
Alright, so my luck seems to be picking up a little bit. Alright, so it looks like the chainsaw guy showed up, and I was, oh, I did not mean to get that time. I was actually not doing too awful. I actually inadvertently killed the chainsaw guy. And that happened. So, as you see, it's pretty easy for work. Everything kind of go off the rails in this version of the Mercenaries mode. drop the grenade had a bunch of enemies trapped kind of in one little room there the odds of that happening again are gonna be pretty slim Sometimes even on fire they don't actually die right away. Which can be a little frustrating. Looks like I've got some bombs here. I've got a time bonus. I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And now we're going to try to chain them over here. Shoot him out of the air. saw down there, it looks like our trusty buddy, Mr. Chainsaw. 
has actually showed up. Got the fat guys. A chainsaw. And one of the big hunking creatures. All on the map right now. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a classic example of bullshit. Um, I had two fat zombies, a chainsaw person, and one of those big monsters with the shell all on the map at the same time, all coming after me. That right there basically sucked. It was the perfect storm of bullshit. There were so many uh, enemies on the screen. The zombies don't really bother me too bad. They're easy to, you know, kill. A couple of shots with the gun, a couple of physical kicks. Boom, bang, boom. They're pretty easy to get rid of. like a good suplex. Take a zombie to suplex city, huh? That's fun, huh? So it doesn't look like I am doing too hot this round here. <laughs> 